Well, my name is William Hosty, and I'm from Bella Bella, and I work for an uh, organization called Cux, and uh, one of the branches of Cux is Coast Watch here out of the Quay River. In 2006, we started a pilot project, and we um, put out these uh, grizzly snares made out of barbed wire. These barbs are considered uh, to be a sample, so when the bear either goes underneath the snare or goes over top of the snare, these barbs catch onto the hair and we collect the hair samples off the barbs and they go in for DNA analysis and uh, from there we're able to do such things as estimate the bear population in the watershed, um, make family trees of siblings and parents and which cubs are related. And we attract them into these snares with our little bait pile, which is a combination of salmon oil, skunk essence, beaver caster, and a little bit of uh, a loganberry. So it's a nice, stinky little bear cocktail that attracts the bears to, to leave their feeding areas and to come in and check that out. And while they're doing that, they deposit some hair onto our, our snares. So it's important for us to know um, whether the grizzly populations are healthy because that is an indicator for how healthy our watershed is. From our DNA analysis, we've, we've identified 60 plus individuals. So that means that we've had bears that are not, probably not only local to the Quay watershed, but also bears from other neighboring watersheds that come in on a low salmon year and, and take advantage of the Quay's run. By us being able to, to prove and say that this is grizzly habitat, we do have 60 grizzlies is going to give us a great voice in protecting this grizzly bear population. All those years of hearing my grandfather say that uh, it was the ocean and the, and the forest that sustained us, I never really appreciated it until I started coming here and watching it all happen and being in the middle of it. And it it's really humbling. I have every intention of, of uh, passing on the same knowledge and experience to my one and a half year old son, hoping that one day he'll have that same appreciation for what we've all been working to protect here.